most of being fit and having abs and looking good naked is about what you don't do, not necessarily what you do do. Now, here's a list of what you do do, but before we get into the list of what you do do, do <laughs> before, before we get to that list, we got to focus on the absence of things that you're probably doing that are sabotaging your results. You're eating at restaurants, you're eating seed oils, you're snacking out of bags, eating processed fake foods, you're lounging around for hours on end, binging Netflix instead of like taking walks, exercise, stretch, whatever. You're not getting outside 30 minutes a day. You're not moving during the day. You're sitting in a chair all day. If you just did the opposite of those things and removed all the crap, all the seed oils, removed all of the eating out, eating out of package, the high carb processed food diet, the standard American diet that you're eating, if you didn't do those things and remove those and then just went to a baseline of like, the opposite kind of, you wouldn't have to do anything crazy. You wouldn't have to work out all the time and watch every calorie and weigh your food and be neurotic. You literally don't have to do that, okay? But you gotta stop doing that, the toxic shit. That's just digging a bigger ditch for yourself that you're gonna have to climb out of later if you even get the chance to. Some people wake up one day and they have cancer and it's over, okay? So here's what you wanna do, the very simple formula for losing fat and gaining muscle, okay? You lift three to five times a week. If you're not lifting at all, go with three times a week. And it doesn't have to be crazy. We're talking 30 minutes in the gym, all right? Or even 30 minutes with some dumbbells and some squats and run outside, all right? Walk daily for 60 minutes. That's not that hard to do. You can take a 30 minute walk after dinner. You can take a 30 minute walk in the morning or even like 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, right? Not hard to do. And you'll be getting your vitamin D at the same time. So this is highly, highly recommended, right? Eat 30, 50 grams of protein with each meal. What that means is you have this plate and you prioritize like a palm amount of protein on that plate. And if you eat that first, the satiety effect of the protein, which is extremely filling, will make it so that, you know, the carbs or the other things or the drink or the, or the dessert, there'll be less room for that stuff. You'll also be eating a food that literally stokes your metabolism. That's what protein does. They've done research to show that the thermogenic effect of protein itself is basically considered like a net negative calorie deficit because your body uses more energy to process it than the actual calories that are coming in, which is freaking fascinating and amazing. And this is really the one thing when it comes to nutrition. If everybody just ate more protein, it would solve literally the obesity crisis that we have in this country. And a lot of the health crisis we have as well because those are connected. Uh, cardio three times a week, play a sport, uh, you know, I don't know, go in the water, swim, uh, bike, hike. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just get your heart rate elevated for like, you know, 15 to 30 minutes, a few times a week, doing something you enjoy, ideally, doing something outside, ideally, because get more of that vitamin D, right? And then you do that for three months, and if you do it for three months, it's likely you're gonna do it forever, right? This isn't. This should not be something you only do for three months. This should be your lifestyle. Now, maybe you dial it back a little bit on any of these things, but really, you should be lifting at least twice a week for baseline strength and longevity and health. You should be walking 60 minutes a day and getting sunlight for baseline longevity and health. You should be eating 30, 50 grams of protein a meal for baseline longevity and health. And you should be doing something that is quote unquote cardio to raise your heart rate baseline three times a week at least for health and longevity. That's it. Don't do the shit that's digging a bigger hole for yourself and do the basics, not complicated.